Welcome to Fred and Amy's Math Shack. Hi, welcome to 3D Pythagoras and Trigonometry using both of those things in three dimensional shapes. Whoa, 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 I hear you say. Yes, um, but it's just, if you've got a good understanding of the um, Pythagoras in 2D and then trigonom and trigonometry in 2D, and it's just a slight extension. We just need to be really careful as we do these questions. Um, and this is going to lead nicely into so, um, a topic on pyramids. Okay, so here we've got a pyramid, a square based pyramid. I'm not going to go, you know, uh, be interested in finding the volume or the surface area today, but that's kind of where we're headed. So um, it's got some information that starts. It's got some lengths, which are all four centimeters. It's telling us it's a square base pyramid, and it's telling us the perpendicular height of the pyramid, OV, is three centimeters. So we've got the center, of the square is O. Then it's saying calculate the length BC. That is this length here. Okay, how are we going to do that? Right. This is a bit troublesome, isn't it? Um, or is it? Okay, we actually have a right angle triangle here. Now it's a bit harder to see because we are um, in three dimensions, but remember they said that is the height. This is the base. It's just that we're representing a, two, a 3D shape on, on a 2D page. But that is our right angle triangle. So um, I've got I've got the height, I've got one on the sides. If I could work out this length here, then I can, um, I can I'm sorted basically. I, I can use Pythagoras' theorem to work out the unknown BC. Okay, but how am I gonna work out this, uh, this side here? Well, that's where we need another right angle triangle. Which I'm gonna do in, uh, let's do it in blue. Okay, this triangle here in blue is also a right angled triangle. There is the right angle. Now, the whole thing is four. So this is two and this is two. We can use Pythagoras' theorem once to find out this side um, OC. So OC is going to equal the square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared. That's going to be the square root of 8. Um, and do you know what? I might leave that exact for now. 2 root 2. That one there. I'm going to write that on. 2 root 2. We're sorted because now I've got my, um, I've got my red triangle. Okay, and if I, I'm just going to draw this out, it's going to, there is three centimeters. VC is what I'm interested in, that's coming down. And this is my two root two. There's my right angled, my right angle. Um, I'm going to use Pythagoras' theorem again to work out VC. It's equal to the square root of three squared plus two root two sorry two root two squared um and I can work that out put in root seventeen Finally, that's going to give me 4.123 or 4.1 centimeters. Okay, so um, yeah, that looks about right. The perpendicular height is three. We're going across um, something that's not, it's not going to be four, but it's going to be. Um, more than two, and then we're applying Pythagoras' theorem to get 4.1 centimeters. 
Now, just one little sneaky thing that you might have noticed, um, but basically this thing here, I've squared it. Okay, when I square it, it's going to take me back to 2 squared plus 2 squared. So actually, I could have written this as 3 squared plus 2 squared plus 2 squared. Because this thing here, as I just said, it is 2 root 2 squared. I hope that makes sense from this starting bit. Um, so basically, you, you can always do that if you have sort of a... A 3D shape, and then you're using Pythagoras theorem once, and then again you can basically do this one squared plus this one squared plus this one squared and square root it. That is known as Pythagoras theorem in 3D. I'm not going to go into any more detail now, but like have a play with it. See if you can do it um, by doing the first method where you wrote down what it was and then squared it, or go in there straight away with this. Okay. Final question is calculate the angle between VC and the plane ABC. So, um, right, we've got the same right angle triangle. And what does it mean by the plane ABCD? It means the base here. So we're actually interested in this angle here that I'm doing in purple, which on my diagram is this angle here. Now, it makes sense. I'm going to draw this triangle out again, actually. So, three, two, root two. And this is the angle I'm interested in. I'm going to call it X. Now, I'm not going to add on the side we just calculated. And the reason is that I've got, I've got these nice exact numbers now. So I might as well stick with them rather than use, you know, if I'd made a mistake somehow on this last little part, then it would follow through, whereas assuming I've made no mistake with this 2 root 2, I've got more chance of, of getting x. I don't think I made a mistake, but I'm just saying, like, use, use the results. Use the results that are the least likely to have errors in them. Okay, now we're just use. so basically, what have we done here? We've applied Pythagoras, I mean, imagine that we hadn't done question 1. We'd have to apply Pythagoras' theorem to get 2 root 2, and then apply trigonometry. This is like your standard sort of procedure that you'll be doing for 3D trig questions. You've just got to really look for these right angle triangles. They're not gonna they're not gonna draw them in and say, hey, just apply Pythagoras' theorem twice. You're gonna have to try, you know, connect things up, understand three-dimensional space. Um, so now it's just a case of of applying trigonometry, and I've just realized I've not left enough room, so I'm just gonna move it up slightly. Okay, so I've got my angle, I've now got my opposite. This time it's my adjacent, so um, it's going to be so ka toa. So I've got o, I've got a, so it's going to be toa tan x is 3 over 2 root 2. x is the inverse tan of 3 over 2 root 2. Calculator comes out. And I get 46.686 with a round to 46.7. So this topic, you're in for a bad time if you haven't got your head around Pythagoras. Or trigonometry. Um, the hope is that you have understood those and then you can look at three-dimensional shapes and look for the triangles and apply these things multiple times. So what I would like you to do is have a go at this follow me task. Uh, I'm going to send it separately. So it is 9, 12 question, no, I think uh, 15 questions it looks like. Um, and one, you, you do one question and then you look for the answer and that's your next question. And the idea of this is that you can self-check as you go. Um, and also I can like gradually make it more difficult. I can start out with some slightly simpler questions. For example, this is a start. Find a diagonal AC. That's just this one there. This is just basically a 3D shape, but I'm doing um, normal Pythagoras. I know this bottom bit and I know um, 
this length here is two, so I can just use Pythagoras. Uh, whatever my answer is, I look for it, and that becomes my second question. Now, just one little point. Um, space diagonal means this thing here. Okay, and it doesn't say whether to go from A to G or H to B. Why is that? Because it doesn't matter. They're the same length. So basically, it's just like the longest thing that you could fit in a box of that size. It goes from one corner to like the very opposite corner. So just be aware of that when you do that. So that's going to involve 3D Pythag. It's going to be some 3D trig in, this, uh, in these questions as well. Good luck, do your best with this. Um, get your head around it because it's gonna be coming up in future lessons. It's a topic in its own right as well, but hopefully you're happy with the examples. Look back through it. If not, that is 3D Pythagoras and Trigonometry. Thank you for watching.